Okay, so this is the last video in the how to use FL Studio series, as in how to use it, as in like what it actually, what you can do with it, and kind of familiarizational techniques. Um, anyway, let's get rid of the step sequencer because we've already done a video on that. Um, this is the mixer, okay, and you can make it super wide like I have if you have millions of channels. Um, so yeah, this is basically what a mixer is. And you know you get all the traditional um, studio things with all the faders. That's what these are, except they're like virtual. Um, this is your master channel, okay? And that basically controls every single fader, even though they don't all go down together. If that's zero, no matter, like these will always, the actual sound coming out, the output is zero, okay? Um, so you basically want to keep that consistent and free okay and they'll, they'll, they'll as you open it up they'll give you this fruity limiter destroy it it is not gonna help you yet okay so destroy that you want this channel clear okay the only thing that you're gonna learn to put on this on this um, channel is the compressor and we'll talk about that later on so you don't need to worry about it so basically just leave it clean nice and clean that's what we like okay these are all your channels okay at the moment um my kicks, my kick, all these four things here are linked to these four channels, okay? So if I do the four by four, you can see that it's coming out of channel in insert one. And if you click on the sample, you can see that it's gone to FX channel one, okay? And if you click on the next sample, it's gone to FX two, okay? And this is how you assign stuff to the mixer track. And you need to do that with every single sample. When you drag something across here, you need to set it to the mixer track. And it's just going to make things easier later on. It's all about this prep work. That's what's important, okay? So once you've done that, you can you can basically see and if I just do a quick this isn't a beat, this is me just showing you the levels. You can see all the different levels. It will go up at, um according with that. Um, the only thing which I was interesting is if you have a new sound like this and you cannot be bothered to because if you get like 5 million channels or like 10 million channels like it's really annoying to having to go to 500 million on there so you can just like go on that do control L and it will set the next one and name it for you which is really nice little shortcut that you can use um, this is a mixer, okay, and then on here you've got the stereo separation, which is your panning. They call it stereo separation because it's like different, but it's basically just like panning. So don't listen to what they say; they're lying. Um, even though no, I'm lying. This is panning up here. My bad. This is panning up here. Okay, if you want to turn off a single channel, you've you've got that same green button over here. These two green buttons have to be in corresponding green, otherwise nothing works. If I turn that off. If I even if I have a kick out going out here, there's gonna be no sound even going into the mixer. But if I have that there and I cut this out, there's gonna be no sound going to the master, and that's what that does. It's like a kill switch. Okay, um there's a few extra little stuff you need to know about um side. There's the inserts and the sends. And sends are quite simple to understand, but they they kind of feel like I remember when I was first learning it's like I don't know what that is, I don't want to know what it is, it's scary, I just want to make music. But these things are really useful. Um sends basically send the the output from this channel to something else before it goes to the mixer. So it's like a kind of it's like a re redirecting thing, if you know what I mean. It kind of just redirects it. So if you let's just say you wanted to send it to this channel because that had like a reverb on or something and you were sending like four or five different things to this channel because of it had um, I don't know reverb on it and you wanted to get reverb and you had like instead of just putting reverb on each of the channels you just have one reverb and then just you like you can just put them all in that and then that will go to the mixer so you can do that and you just click on the channel highlight the channel and then go to the one and it says in the top left hand corner up there can't see it because you can't see it it will say enable send and you just click that you can bring that down and that's how much of this is getting through to that okay because when you click on that it's like uh what are you talking about so there um there's also different stuff you can do like if you right click you've got these side chain things and we'll talk more about side chaining later because it's really really important and it's useful and it makes stuff sound sexy so that's what you like okay um if you want to record anything 
Um, remember, there's this, okay, the arm disc recording, and that has to be on before you can record anything. Um, so always have the mixer on when you're recording stuff, and then you can see that it's on, otherwise it won't record, it'll just be like, yeah, I, no, I'm not recording. So you don't want that. Um, you basically have about five gazillion channels, not 100 channels, um, but sh you are never going to use a hundred channels, even if you know not. Even if you're making like an orchestra, like you know, you're not going to use that. So it's good. It means we have limitless virtual possibilities or something. I don't know. Um, if you want to put mics into a specific channel, you'll get. You have to get your sound card, and you'll go into in, and then there'll be a sound card thing, and you can click that, and then you'll get sound coming out like a kick would on that. And that's basically all they are. They're just channels. They're like channels on your telly you know it's quite simple um, and then here you've got this EQ on here don't ever use these just leave these because these are these are here to mess you about and mess you about really so leave them um, last thing I want to talk about is the levels okay these are really really important red is bad simple right simple you know traffics traffic lights are red for a reason so if I just quickly show you what actually happens if you do that so I'm just going to turn this the actual sample on here loads up, they'd never do this okay? and then I'm just going to no wait. see what's happening there really really bad and that basically means it's going to start clipping okay? and clipping is when the sound um, is not full, it's like being cut off um, before the, because you know how waves work, they're like, like wavy well basically that before the wave can kind of reach its full peak it's getting chopped off and it makes this horrible the energy is like a clunk and that's where the line is it's really really horrible and you don't want that so we always kind of work to I like to keep it green because you know but I generally won't go higher than minus two or zero if you're really CBA and just don't care about anything um, yeah so don't go any higher than zero don't go, in, don't go any higher than minus two, really. But, you know, it's up to you anyway. So that's basically the mixer. And I hope you've enjoyed this How to Use FL Studio series. Um, if you'd like to buy the software, there's an awesome link in the description of all of these. And basically it means you get 10% off and helps me out and everyone's happy. And then we can go have a tea party afterwards or something, I don't know. Anyway, um, carry on watching the videos. The next series will be about how to make different types of dance music from every little bit and then you'll know exactly what to do and you can be an awesome producer. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching and I really hope you've enjoyed this little series.